Paul, great to see you. First day back. Is this like Christmas morning for you? Yeah, pretty exciting to be fair. I mean, I know it's a, a job, but it's a pretty exciting job. And it's a good time of year because everyone's really pleased to be back. Not uh, the lads aren't. I mean, they've been getting a few texts off me in recent weeks. Uh, looking forward to this day. I did sleep, which is exciting. But uh, yeah, I know obviously all the uh, running drills and that we've got in place. And, you know, uh, just getting everyone back, seeing everyone is great. It's like the first day back at school. By tomorrow, they'll all be hating us again. But uh, generally, the first day, they're all pleased to see each other. So it's good. How intense is, is today and, and the first couple of the days? Or do you ease them in no, a little bit? I, it's weird. I think we have a reputation of being absolute lunatics, which, you know, I don't like, but I do. But um, the first couple of days are all right, really. It's all about lactate testing on the treadmill, going to your max, seeing where the lads are at. Like, we're not complete idiots. We've got really educated people. You know, Ross, head of conditioning, is, is a another level and then uh, they do a drill with me which they aren't, aren't going to really enjoy but they're not supposed to uh, and then meantime lads are doing mile runs around the outside and then they get two days off and then next week um, we have a real good go at it and in fairness if we've got I've said it loads of times in interviews we just have to be better at everything we have to be better at set pieces we have to be a little bit fitter a little bit more aggressive a little bit more organized we have to be better coaches better managers better kitchen staff better everything so we'll just try and get everything we can out of the group and I'm really pleased with the business we've done so far so uh, I'm looking forward to it there are some new faces that the four new signings are here. Joe Ward, Josh Vickers, Callum Elder, Curtis Nelson. Well done. So I don't forget anyone. Well done, yeah. Yeah, really pleased. I mean, uh, it takes a long time to sign anyone. And obviously, like today, not obviously, but today I'm meeting two other players. I'm speaking to other things. Things are constantly on the go. Uh, so we're pretty uh, pleased along the bat line. We're still one signing short along the bat line. We're still one wing back short. We're still one, two maybe three attacking players short midfield's pretty good i appreciate there might be some movement there so uh yeah so as it stands today if we had to play a league game tomorrow great i'd, I'd, I'd deal with the 11 i know would start the first game fine but it's always about trying to improve every position and that's what we're endeavoring to do on a 25 hour day basis it feels like and I know it is busy, so we won't keep yep, you long. But, but I did just want to ask, Saturday is, is the, the year anniversary of, of Clouds Development completing their takeover of, of the club. You obviously spend a lot of time with David. You have a close relationship with him. What is he, what is he like with you? But a really good bloke. Uh, I came to this club because uh, of him, really. Um, that's the truth. Because um, he sold me how he wanted the club to be, how he wanted the club to be run, how he sees the future of the club. Uh, how he has um, no ego, he's not a narcissist, it's not about him, it's about watching his team play. Um, so I like him, get on brilliantly with him, get on brilliantly with Kath. After every home game, they normally come down and uh, see me. Um, so then we decide we're all drinking Coke and not eating as much cheese. So uh, so I spend a lot of time with him in that respect. I, I try and keep him updated as best I can regarding signings because fundamentally he is a fan who's always excited by, I don't know if you know, but fans get excited by I've heard that, yeah. uh, this room. Is that, I don't know if it's just at this club. Uh, so I try and keep him updated and, he, and he's pretty, uh, he's been really good, pretty fair. He feels defeat like I do, but he also understands the, the smallest of margins as well. So he's been, yeah, joy to work for and hopefully that will continue to be the case. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.